In this video, I'm going to show you four ways of creating a frame in Digital Scrapbook Artist 2. The first is to use an image such as this where the middle is already transparent. All you need to do is click on your Frames tab and you're just going to drag this into there. Now you've got a brand new frame over here that's already been created for you. In this area right here, your photograph will actually snap into place. This is your original image and the photo is not going to snap into here, so you're going to delete this. Now you can go to your newly created frame, hold down your left mouse button and drag it onto your blank page. Next I'm going to go into the Photos tab and if you don't have any photos listed, click on the Add button. Find the photos on your computer that you want to use. I'll click on this image, hold down the Control key on my keyboard and I'll click on this image. Next thing I'm going to do is click on Open and both of my pictures are here. So I'm going to drag this image on top of my frame and as you can see it now snaps perfectly into place. I can easily click on Crop and then if I wanted to I can zoom in or I can zoom out. I can use the icon of a hand to move the picture exactly where I want it to be and over here I can rotate it. When you're happy with it you can use it in your layout. I'm just going to select this and delete it. The next image I'd like to show you is one where the middle part is not transparent. So in this case all you do is you click on your frames tab and you drag it into there. The software analyzes it and now all you need to do is remove this portion. So I'm going to go to the top of the screen, I'm going to click on the medium size brush and I'm just going to hold down my left mouse button and drag it and instantly the software takes over. So I'm going to click on my preview just to make sure the middle part's removed, then click on OK. Now I have my brand new frame over here and I can delete the one that's in the middle of my page. Now I'm going to take my brand new frame, drag it over here, go into my photos and I'm just going to place my picture on top and you can see it snaps into place. Again I can crop this and move it into position where I want it to be and then use it in my layout. So I'm just going to delete this. If you come across an image such as this where you've got an opening here and an opening there, if you then decide you want to turn it into a frame, let's just do that, we'll drag it into the frame. Now I can delete the original one and I can take the frame out. If I go into my photos and let's say I want to put this photo right in this window right here, you're going to see that it actually takes up both windows. So that doesn't work out too well. I'm just going to delete this and I'll show you the workaround. First, you take out your image again. Make sure it's selected so it's got these little boxes around it. Go to the top of the screen and click on the scissors icon. Make sure that scissor type is straight and if yours isn't, you want to pull down this tab and click on straight. Now all you need to do is starting outside of your image, you're going to hold down your left mouse button and you're just going to slice through it so that you divide the two pieces beside each other. Next, go to the top of the screen and click on the select button to turn off the scissors and then click once anywhere off of your page. Now you can separate these two pieces and you can place each individual piece in the frames section. So first I'll drag this one into the frames. Next thing you can do is delete your original image and you're going to take your second portion and you're also going to drag it into your frames tab. Now you can delete this image over here and you can take out your first portion of your frame and you can take out your second portion and you kind of want to move them together so that you can still see the seam in the middle. Now keep one image selected and using the arrow keys on your keyboard you can move them into place using the up arrows or the down arrows until you no longer see the seam. Now you can go into your photos, you can drag your first image in the window and drag your second image in the other window. Now if at any time you want to move this around, just hold down your left mouse button. Starting in the corner here, you're just going to drag an imaginary box around these two pieces and then click on group. And now you can move this around if you want to. If at any time you want to ungroup it and put new pictures in, you just click on ungroup and then you can put a new picture in the other window. So I'm just going to delete both of these. Next thing I'd like to show you is when you come across a frame such as this where you've got a number of openings. So I'm just going to go into my frames and I'm going to drag it into there. 
Next, I'm going to delete this original image, and I'm going to take my newly created frame, and I'll drag it onto my blank page. I'm going to go into my photos, and I'm just going to drag this right on top. Now you can see that that photo snaps into every single opening of this frame, but actually all I want is just this portion right here in the middle to house my picture. So to do that, make sure it's still selected, and then go into your Layers tab. Make sure you click on the very first plus sign, which is Layer 1, and then underneath you're going to click on this plus sign as well. Now over here we have Poly Curve. Select that. Actually, when you move your mouse right on top of this part, you can see the mask of what your photo would fit into. So as long as you've got Polycurve selected, you can go to the top of the screen and you can click on the eraser icon. Now what you can do is you can start erasing all of the sections where you do not want your photo in. You can just keep erasing and if at any time you find that your eraser is too small, you can go right up here and you can increase the size. So I'm just going to make the size a little bit bigger and I'm just going to start erasing all of these portions. Now as I erase, you're going to notice that the poly curve is being erased at the same time. So I'm just going to keep erasing. And what I just want to show you now is in case you made a mistake, let's just say you erase this part right there. I'm going to click on Select, first of all, to turn off my eraser. So if you run across a situation like this, of course, you could go to the top of the screen and click on Undo. But let's just say that the Undo feature wasn't working, so I'm going to redo that. All you need to do is click on your frame, and then you're going to go right here and click on Crop. Now, you want to click on this section that says Edit Points. You're going to notice that there's these little boxes all along the area of your frame. These are notes. You can easily move these into position so that they actually now cover up the area that you accidentally moved. And now you can easily have your photograph fit into that area. Once you're happy, click on Select, go back into your frames, and you want to delete this frame because you don't need it anymore. So delete that, and now just drag your newly created frame into this area. Now you can delete the one that's on your screen and now let's move our newly created frame back on here. I'll go into photos and I'll place my photo inside. And as you can see it now snaps right into the middle. So at any time I can edit this if I want to or use it in my layout as is. Now if you want to keep the frames that you've created all you need to do is click on the DigiKit Creator at the top of the screen and then click on your frames tab. Make sure that there are no frames you don't want. For example, this one I don't need, so I'm going to erase it. And then once you have the frames that you like, you can click on Save DigiKit, you can save it, and then you can use it anytime you need to. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.